sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister, who's the only one? We'll do it another time, but I want to get to call her. So, James, thanks yeah. for waiting. Hello. Thanks for waiting, James. What do you got? Well, um, you know, I've had experience a little bit uh, talking to atheists uh, in some of these chat rooms, and uh, I come to the conclusion that a lot of them are uh, Darwinists. Uh, you bring up the word Darwin, and it's like it ticks them off. It ticks them off if you, if you even, like, say anything bad about Darwin. Well, the word and, Darwin is a proper name. What is a Darwinist exactly? The Darwinist. The cre creationists, I mean the uh, evolutionists or whoever. Um, you know, I just wanted to get one quote out to people who are believers in Darwin's theory because they probably don't know this quote that Darwin uh, had. And right. it had to do with the uh, human eye. Uh, it's like three lines. I, I, no, it's no, not. No, 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 no. Please read it. Go ahead. You read your three lines. Okay. To suppose that the eye with all its immutable contrivances for adjusting the focus of different distances for admitting different amounts of light and for the correction of spherical and chromatic aberration could have been formed by natural selection seems i freely confess absurd in the highest degree yep and do you okay, have to have the rest what, of what the comes quote? next what comes next there's a lot more after that yeah and do you Please know what it, it says Go ahead, well, con continue. Yeah, you've got the rest, right? In front right. of you. What's it say next? Go. There's a lot more. I mean, Keep no, going. no, what is the direct what? next line after that? When it was first said that the sun stood still and the world turned around, the common sense of mankind declared the doctrine false, but the old saying of vox populi, vox dei, as every philosopher knows, cannot be trusted in science. Continue. Keep going. Reason tells me that if numerous gradations from a simple and imperfect eye to one complex and imperfect can be to exist, each grade being useful to its possessor, as is certainly the case, if further the eye ever varies and the variations be inherited, as is likewise certainly the case, and if such variations should be useful to any animal under changing conditions of life, then the difficulty of believing that a perfect and complex eye could be formed by natural selection, though insuperable by our imagination, should not be considered as subversive of the theory. Okay, now right. here's the million dollar question. What was he saying there? Well, you know, I haven't broken that part down yet, but... Oh, so you hey. haven't taken the time to figure out what the rest of the paragraph means. You just kind of stopped in comprehending the, the part that ends with absurd in the highest And degree. you felt like it was important to call okay. in and give it's this paradox, partial quote. Then. It's a paradox, then. He said no, it's not. It, yes, what it is, and this is the point that Darwin making, Darwin's making, is that this is counterintuitive. This isn't what our common sense would lead us to believe. And when he, the first part, which you read, is, is a common creationist quote mine, where Darwin says, to think that the eye could have formed gradually over time is absurd in the highest order, I freely admit. And then what he does in the following sentence is explain that in fact, based on the evidence, which I believe he uses the phrase certainly two or three times, yep. he goes through and demonstrates that the evidence has led us to draw this conclusion because this is what the evidence supports. So that no matter how counterintuitive it was, like the sun going around the earth versus the earth going around the sun, it is in fact what is supported by the evidence. To try to spin the first part of the quote as if Darwin was just saying the eye couldn't have formed by evolution is to completely disregard the point that he was trying to make. People can make two statements in one paragraph and conflict each other. Of course other. they do, and do you know what that's called? It's intellectual honesty. Six it's months good. ago I wrote myself a master's report trying to uh, explain a certain method for analyzing news with a computer. And at the end of that paper, what I wrote, because that's what honest people do, is here are some of the potential problems and objections that people would bring up in response to this paper. Uh, I go through them one at a time, and then I say at the end, but I don't 
don't think this is a serious problem and here's why. This is what you will find in every single scientific paper that measures up and is good enough to publish in a journal. Yeah, but if I bring that quote up to a uh, Darwinist, they'll call me a liar. Because you only gave you the just first part. did, and I didn't call you a liar, although I still don't know True. exactly what a Darwinist is. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I made my point anyways. Yes, you did. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. <laughs> I, I'm not exactly sure what a Darwinist is either, but if it's somebody who accepts, uh, in general, the theory of evolution by natural selection that was proposed by Darwin, uh, okay, I'm a Darwinist. Uh, I'm a Darwinist in, in, a, in a much broader sense that the underlying ideas and themes of evolution, right. uh, the, the, the things gradually change over time, uh, not only applies to genes as right. well. Right. I'm just saying that I have a problem with the word Darwinist because it seems to be the only context in which that gets right. applied. If I believe in relativity, then that doesn't make me an Einsteinian. <laughs> Although, if you want to say that those who believe in the theory of relativity as put forth by Einstein uh, should be called Einsteinians, well, yes. then call me one. Okay. I just don't see that it's particularly useful. Um, what it does is it implies that we're somehow dogmatically uh, accepting whatever Darwin said. Darwin said it, so it must be true. I just spent quite a bit of time trying to convince a, an atheist um, that arguments from authority don't carry any weight with me. Right, and actually that was one of the themes that I would be going for if it looked like we were going to really cover the topic in yeah. depth. Hey, we're in not. Depth because, no, we're not. I mean, you can read up on those groups I mentioned yourself. But my point was that all of them make this basic mistake, which is is sort of similar to religion. I've talked about communists, Raelians, and objectivists, which is the mistake of putting a person before their ideas. Right. Of saying that it, you know, as long as you have some authority that says it, then that thing is immutably true and you are a bad, bad person if you argue with it. Not because the idea might be wrong or, or, or not, but because it's evil to question this particular person, whoever whoever it is that you put up in a pedestal. And if somebody felt that way about Darwin, I would say the same thing. Yeah, there, there are no reasonable people who have come to accept the theory of evolution because it came from Darwin. It's true because it's true. It doesn't matter who it came from. The words of Socrates stand and fall on their own. The difference is that some of these people are coming from extremely religious mindsets where the person who says something is in fact very important to whether or not things are true. The words of Jesus, to me, are something that I can evaluate and look at and say, yeah, that's true, that's not true, that's good advice, that's bad advice, and I've done this. I've done an entire deconstruction of the Sermon on the Mount. But a believing Christian who has this presupposition that because Jesus, in their mind, is God and perfect, then everything he says is therefore true. The words are no longer the, the, the ideas and the words are no longer evaluated on their own merits. They are clouded with this argument from authority. That is not true in science. That is, that is not true uh, with why people accept evolution. So this kind of Darwinist label, not really that accurate. Uh, come up with something better. Yeah. But.